just as a disclaimer before we start, I do have Tourette's. Um, I have been quite ticky of late, so I'll probably manage to edit most of them out and reshoot video as needed. However, do bear with me if I don't manage to edit any of my ticks out, um, please bear with me. Um, I will of course edit out any swears um, as I can swear, but thank you very much, um, just a little disclaimer. Hi there, it's Andy again. I've had a few requests to do a review video on the Tefal Ingenio. Um, I think a few people spotted the Ingenio pans as I was doing the review for the Ninja. The Ninja air fryer incidentally is going very very well. I hardly use my cooker at all and I have noticed a drop in the electricity bill simply due to using the air fryer. Um, we very 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 rarely use the oven now. Um, it's either the hob, the air fryer or the microwave. I think the oven's been used maybe twice, um, once to do a big pizza and once, oh it was to do large um, pita breads for a curry in the oven, that's the only two times the oven's been put on probably in the last four months, maybe a bit longer. Um, so what I'll do is I will review the pans for you and hopefully you find it interesting. So then, at the request of a couple of people, I am going to do a little bit of a review on the Tefal Ingenio pan set. Please bear in mind, while I'm going through this review, I have had this set for roughly about three years. So just bear that in mind when looking at uh, slight little defects. And in fairness, the defects they are my fault rather than the pan's fault. As some of you know, I do have Tourette's. I have thrown a couple of the pans. They've held up. I've thrown a couple of these lids and as you can see, they've held up. So that's quite good. All in all, very, very good investment in my opinion. So you have the handles. Handles are very, very easy to operate. That goes over the rim of your pan, your frying pan, saucepan, and pull that together. It clamps onto your pan. Push them two red buttons, and it clips back out, and you can take your handle off your pan. These are slightly harder to clean than the pans are. The pans are very, very easy to clean, but these aren't difficult. They're slightly more difficult, but they're not very difficult. Basically, shoving your sponge up in here, and giving it a quick wipe round here, nice run through with some pretty hot water and to get rid of any debris that you can't reach with your sponge usually does the job. So, in my set I got three different saucepans. I got a larger frying pan, I got a smaller frying pan. Um, please don't be too mad at me for not knowing the exact dimensions. However, for day-to-day -day use, this is pretty much all I use. <coughs> I did buy a pan previously, which I do use on occasion. Um, if I'm cooking a really big curry or something like that, sauces and everything, then I have this T-file pan. I think they said it was like a deep bottom frying slash saute pan. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I'm sure you'll be able to look it up and see what type of pan it is. This one is pretty, pretty big. I'm sure this is just over 30 centimetres. I think it's 32 centimetres. Um, but on the bottom, you've got your rings. I use all of my pans, as you can see, on the glass top cooker. Um, the lid does come off and you can put it upside down like that. So you can stack other things on top of it which is really good. The handle, obviously, because it's quite a deep pan, it's a, it's a fairly deep pan. If I put my hand there, you'll see it's a fairly deep pan. So this handle does come in handy if you sort of cook into the brim and you need to lift it up. So I will shove that one out of the way for the moment. <coughs> the coating is pretty much the same, the same durability. 
it is very non-stick i've never had anything stick to any of these pans and i don't like using a lot of oil i like to keep the flavor in the food so unless it's a recipe that sort of needs olive oil then i generally try not to use oil as much as possible maybe a, a tiny drop um, maybe a little drop for some eggs um, i think you've seen that in my previous videos anyway so here we are you've got your handle slip it over there we go it's all clipped in you can shake it about you can properly shake it about and it doesn't really do anything I would try and avoid running it round the edge but as you can see it's not really doing anything however one of the times when I did have one of my ticks I literally threw this pan across the room and I think it was the way that it hit it sort of hit say one against the wall and the handle against the floor and it just took a slight chip out of there but in the three years uh, I think I did that probably about six months after I had it so that's had two and a half years worth of use and that chip hasn't actually spread any further than the initial chip there you go you can see that chip there so it hasn't spread so I'm really really happy with that um, again you can come straight off of one pan you do get two handles in the kit that I bought by the way so the lids they do have a little slot so that the pan handle will go through um, and you can keep the lid on on the other side there's like a little drainage spout so you can tip up quite nicely and drain your food so you can either put it on with or uh, sorry without the lid on or you can do that put your lid on you can be simmering away you need to come there we go again oh, again very very sturdy you can really rag them about they're not going to fly off until you press them two handles and just pressing one handle doesn't do anything press the two handles straight off as you can see i'm not overly gentle when i'm taking the handles off but that has held up really well as you can see around the edge so that back bit whacking the pan as you can hear it hasn't done anything to it um excuse the water spots i do apologize so these lids obviously you get three lids i think this one no sorry uh, da, da, da. yeah so the biggest lid fits the smallest frying pan i know that you can get larger lids um, I think you can buy them individually as well. There's a whole host of different pans. Eventually I will expand um, and I'll tell you why in a moment. But yeah, so lids are kind of interchangeable with different things you can get. You know, you can get um, plastic lids to go in the fridge. Oh, yes, by the way, because the handles come off, I have used these a number of times in the oven obviously before we got the air fryer because i really don't use the oven now i'll either use the hob air fryer or microwave on occasion that is it um, but you can put these i've put them in the oven a few times you know none of the coatings flaked off anything like that um, just bear in mind when you are getting it out of the oven you can use the handle but try not to get any of the plastic on um like your, your shelves or anything like that because you may burn in i haven't had that problem but you may burn in um so just something to consider there um always use nice thick gloves safety first and all that you know me by now i'm not a professional reviewer i just do it off my own back because i find it if I can help one person, then I've helped one person and that's enough for me. So, they are the pans in the set. Overall, I would say excellent purchase. If I could go back and choose a different brand, would I? No, I don't think I would because they're very, very versatile. Now, um, I did also buy this one at a different time. Again, coating has not come off that one's been thrown across the room as well um also i left the room 
um, that caught fire and I actually threw it out of the window, out of the open window and not a mark on it. Um, obviously a little bit of discoloration over time but I think I've had this about five or six years, possibly a bit longer. Um, did I have it down so? Yeah, so I've, I've had it over six years, um, this pan. What I will say, the rings um, on all of them, um, apart from the these um, saucepans, um, all of your frying pans and things, they do have a little ring that does change colour. I think it's when it gets up to searing temperature, I'll, that's what I use it for. So again, very, very good. So, the only two fat pans that I don't have a T file, and the only reason I haven't upgraded them to T file is they work fine. If something's not broken, don't fix it. That's how I was brought up. However, <clears throat> they are very old, so I may update at some point. This big bad boy, very, very useful for soups, stews, something that you're going to be batch cooking, but. Tfal do a version and they do stainless steel um, and very very good for mashing things up you're not going to scratch it and that's where my other non Tfal pan comes in again I think I got given it a few years ago um, because it's not broke why fix it um, but another stainless steel pan um, the only reason that I have these two is because I'm a tight wad and haven't updated basically to T-File but I will be doing it at some point when I do I'll upgrade you on that I would say even with the T-File though you do need at least one stainless steel pan the reason being if you get a potato masher and you're going at it with a potato masher that I don't think will ha handle it over time um, Perhaps not even on the first time because if you're anything like me, you're an absolute madhead and you go up like this and you're mashing and you just don't want that abrasion um, on a coating that, that's non-stick. Non so that's the reason for them two extra pans. Other than that, everything that I need is in these pans. These are big enough because there's usually only myself and Sam. If there is somebody else coming round or I'm doing batch cooking that I'm going to be freezing, again, I will use this if I need to use a, a frying slash big old saucepan because it does hold a heck of a lot. I'd say that holds enough easily for four people. And again, this if I'm doing big soups, stews, batch cooking basically in that massive thing there. So that is basically the T-file pans. I will show you um, washing them, um, but I will show you me washing one of the pans um, after it's dirty. And the other thing that I wanted to highlight is the lids, um, because I didn't go into them in too much detail. You can, um, uh, sorry, this is like a, a rubbery silicon um, around here, so. Obviously, it's going to protect, um, you know, if I do this, it's going to protect it. Also, these fold flat and come up. It's very easy to lift the pans up and what have you. And, and obviously, you can stack these lids. The other good thing, you can stack these inside of each other. What I like to do, just as a precaution, is... You have, you can buy these off Amazon, I believe. Um, I just search for pan protectors, so get one of them. I've just realised you probably can't see. So, them inside there, that inside there, and obviously your lids stack on top. So, when you've got all three of them, and that one, oh, let's get a slightly bigger one. That one in that. So I do like to line everything up. Obviously, um, they all sit on there. So that's three pans, um, and it takes up very little room. 
but it's more than enough room to to cook um so yeah it is fairly good one of the other things that i do like is if you get any grime build up in this area then you can just simply put a knife or a screwdriver or even if you press hard there we go coming roughly you can take that off your bottom screw and your washer come off and you can get right in there and you can clean all of that right out just remember when you're putting it back on the side with your washer goes underneath with the side of the lips there then your top bit obviously spin it round and what I like to do I don't particularly like getting a knife so if you press fairly hard and give it a quick twist maybe two or three quick twists you, you'll see there you go it's not too tight that it's going to break the glass although I don't think it would because it, it seems to be tough and glass it's not too loose that if you fling it about it's gonna undo um, these have felt as I say about three years of use these are still as springy as the day that I got them um, so there we go just a little bit of an add-in for you hi this is a little bit of an insert and um, because I realized after I've done most of my filming I didn't um, explain my utensils on the wall so since I've got these um, I've never used metal metal in the pans um, these are all silicon and like a harder plastic silicon this is probably the hardest one that i've got um and you can scrape around all day it's it's not going to damage your pan um so that's one thing that you need to bear in mind they are flexible um they're fairly cheap you can buy them on amazon for pennies um and there we go so yeah just one thing to note always try and use these don't ever try and use metal um, or really really hard plastic on these pans I think the wood stand up to a good bit of battering um, as you've seen through the video however I wouldn't like to sort of test the theory just because of the price point of these pans they are a little bit on the sort of pricier side um, rather than just going out and buying your run-of-the-mill ten-a-penny pan. So then, um, this pan here, I purposefully left it. Um, hopefully you can see that. I'll come round see what my camera is doing. Purposefully left it um, dirty and I've left it overnight. This is just so that I can show you basically cleaning the pans. Um, it is very very easy to clean but um, what I'll do run a little bit of hot water take your handle off just to show you this has been on overnight just lightly wiping the inside I do actually wash with uh, washing up liquid it's just I want to highlight the point of the ease of cleaning of them so nice little light scrub most of it's gone you've got a little bit in here I'm not sure if you can see it properly but a little bit more of a wipe a little bit more pressure and it just takes it off so give it a little bit of a swill out again this bit round the side again nice light even pressure yes I'm using a scourer but I'm only using it very lightly just so that I don't wear away any of the protective uh, non-stick surface so there we go mm -hmm. I And there we go so even without any soap the pans themselves they are very very easy to clean as I say that had been left overnight as you can see that bottom bead of water is just 
moving around the pan very very easily um, and it's the same when you're cooking up sauces things like that it does move around the pan very easily you can tell it's actively not sticking so that's that part I will wash that up with a little bit of fairy liquid now your handle obviously food gets all up in here sorry for the uh, abysmal quality there I've been trying to adjust but it does stick it can get a little bit sort of glued up so what I've generally found is while you're washing nice wipe over that way and if you get your sponge and try and fit it inside in sort of backwards forwards motion um, I wash up in fairly fairly hot water um, I have my grandmother's hands my partner Sam always says that I have asbestos hands but nice soapy warm water should do the trick and a little bit of light wiping and even the metal that hasn't got any of the non-stick on it as you can see very very quick nice and cleaned obviously it's not the best job it's not a full job what I do when I'm washing up but there we go and even if you clamp that together you just push your buttons and it comes out um, so there we go that's cleaning the pans I'm sure everybody knows how to cook if you do want me to do a little video of me actually cooking something in the pans then please let me know in the comments I do try and read all of your comments I do try and reply to all of your comments um, and what I will say is thank you very very much um, I noticed that I'm getting a few subscribers I didn't expect it I didn't even expect one subscriber to be honest so for everybody that's subscribed everybody that's liking my videos thank you so so much um, I have tried to keep most of my ticks out of the videos as you know I usually do it by editing um, this part alone um, when I'm saying thank you I've probably done over five or six times so thank you very very much for for bearing with me um, thank you for the likes thank you for the subscribes it is very very much appreciated um, just to show you the rest of the kitchen in case you want me to do a review on anything else I'll just take you off this little stand here so bought these knives um, you come with a few chef's knives you've got a pizza knife um, you've got the steak knife but if you want me to do like a little video of cutting things up and how it all goes I will do that um, I also have this it is a Breville one cup um, hopefully you can see that it just boils one cup of water it has an adjustable dial and things if you want me to go more in depth with that I can do um, and yeah pretty much everything that I can think of so so I'm using my phone quickly the last part of this video where I was just about to put you back on the tripod um, I was just summarizing and realized that basically half of my head was out of the frame um, now just to give you a little bit of an idea of the time you can tell that some parts of my video are out of sequence like this last bit I did record um, early on um, and I did some of the other bits later all in all I started recording this video roughly about half past 11 this morning it is now 31 minutes past 10 at night um, and I literally have just had a notification from YouTube that I've hit 100 subscribers. So once again, as you can tell, I'm extremely happy about that. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is more than appreciated. Very, very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, so just in summary, yes, I would recommend the T-File pans. They've been a brilliant investment. Um, I will try and bring you more review videos. One of the reasons it's taken me so long is I have just redone the garden. Unfortunately, because I just got stuck into it, I didn't make any films, but I'm sure I've had 
I'm sure I've done like a, a couple of photos before. Um, I can take a decent photo of it afterwards. And I've started making some of my own planters. However, I've got to get the fence done first before I can put the rest of the planters in. So I'll do a, something around that at some point. I do apologise for the amount of erms and ums in the video. If I were to out take them all out, I think it would have taken me a lot longer to edit this video. Um, as I say, it's, it's half past ten at night. This is my little summary that I'm just going to add into the video before I then submit it to YouTube, as I wanted to submit it today because I kind of made a promise to a couple of people that there would be a video submitted today. So sorry guys i know that it's um it's late on in the evening but there we go i will have submitted it before the end of play today um so i hope you're all having a wonderful time thank you again for the subs it's very very much appreciated as i says i i can't describe the feeling i never expected one subscriber let alone 100 so thank you so enjoy what you do enjoy your hobbies, enjoy your cooking and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thank you and goodbye.